So here's another Western developed game. Was this... American Sonic. Yeah. This is like. Is this based on like the cartoon? Like the. Yeah. The Mario... Partly is, yeah. I'm just imagining a Mario game based on that fucking cartoon. <laughs> I think there's like cameos from some of those characters, like Sally Acorn. Oh yeah. It's like the uh, the only game appearance from those American characters. So sound design this game was done by the guy behind Comic Zone. Howard Drossen. Howard Drossen, yes. It's... It's different. It's... Yeah. I like a lot of it. Some of it sounds really weird, and I think mostly it's just because it's in the Sonic series. <laughs> it's a really bizarre soundtrack. And it's, I think it's using the, the uh, gem sound system. Or... Yeah. This is a weird, very strange entry, and it, it's so obvious it was made by like a different group of oh, people yeah. with different sensibilities. Some people oh, hate this game you... as well, which I've understood. Like, it's a pretty good game. Yeah. But that nice fluid animation when he... and stylish animation when he grabs onto the... Oh, yeah! ...center. After going through the outlane. I guess he doesn't have a lot of animation in this game, so they kind of spruce up the ones they can give him. It's also like... The soundtrack and the the overall art design is dark, which I guess is not unlike Sat Sat Am. Yeah, yeah. The cartoon, which also feels really weird in retrospect to the series. I mean, hell, I could. Part of me wants to make a series of videos just talking about the, how diverse on its cartoon appearances are. We know. <laughs> Of, you want to just start ripping cartoons and uploading them, but <laughs> so Barrel Boston. I played a few pinball games. I don't remember there being many where there was like an objective in the sense that you could win. There's been some, but not really as pronounced as this, and it certainly helps that there's you know Stars of Fame's platforming character. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, by the way, you also, have to uh, this over to get here. Assembled. Yeah. We got one of the, uh, 12, 13 Chaos Emeralds or whatever. <laughs> they're all blue, too. As they're known. As someone, as someone who's played a lot of digital pinball tables, the physics on this are kind of weird, but mostly because you can control the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess is like the equivalent of tilting, but way more powerful. Yeah. Sonic has the ability to... I guess platformer heroes do that. Change yeah. their moment. Yeah. It's like the air control of a platformer. Like, Sonic can do in other games, so you can do it here too. Just Yeah. Well, the game would certainly be a hell of a lot harder without it. It's to feel like you're actually playing with Sonic rather than a pinball. I wanted to mention this at some point. There was the um, the albums of like uh, like CD music for like Sega games, but it was like right. Western developed, and it had like so there was a uh, Vector Man, Comic Zone, some X Men game, uh, Toe Jam and L Two, and then there was a Sonic one, but it was composed by Drossen and didn't have like the rights to actual <laughs> Sonic music. <laughs> so the only recognizable Sonic music in the album is, like, two songs from Sonic Spinball. <laughs> the rest of it is yeah, just, like, it's named after Sonic stuff, but it is original compositions. Yeah. Which is extremely yeah, kinda... bizarre. I just realized what this looks a bit like. It reminds me of uh, The Oop, which I think was also made by Sega Technical Institute. I like how you. I feel like a complete fucking... idiot. I did not know about this. <laughs> you flipper the minecart. I did not know about that. What do you think the flippers are for? Never noticed. <laughs> Jesus. I think I played this as much as the other Sonic games. 
I, disclaimer, I am not claiming to be an expert on this game at all. I played I like it a bit. how there's a button in the option select for flipping with both flippers, which is absolutely not what you should do in a pinball game, but what all the kids do anyway. That's the oh, yeah. only button I ever used to oh, play yeah. when I was a kid. In my uh, pre actually kid giving a shit about pinball days. Yeah, so this is another Whoa. game that I owned as a kid and played a lot. Uh, apparently my dad was really good at this game. <laughs> like, I was too young to ever, like, see that, but... Or remember it, but yeah, apparently he really liked this one. Which is funny, because he doesn't play video games. <laughs> There's always one for parents. Yeah. I didn't own this, I th think I played it with my cousins briefly, but I did not play this turn. I mean, I'm trying to excuse myself for not knowing about the food <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, that's alright, he's there. He's there. Yeah, the, he has a delay for his jump, which is bizarre. Yeah! It, it feels like Prince of Persia more than Sonic. <laughs> I guess he doesn't Prince do it The Persia lot, running though. through a loop. <laughs> I like how in this area you can get up here two different ways. Yeah. Which I don't think is consistent with the rest of the game, but I mean, hey. I remember... Playing um, Sonic Pinball Party in the GB, and I was just disappointed it wasn't like a sequel to this. <laughs> it, was just, <laughs> it was just pinball. I don't remember what my reaction to Pokemon Pinball was, but I remember playing that, and uh, it's definitely not this. <laughs> I think that's most digital in pinball games. games. <laughs> They're it's actually so pinball. pinball. I do remember my uh, as a kid, my reaction to most pinball games is they are not virtual pinball, which is like one of the coolest Genesis games ever. And when <laughs> you're a kid. Yeah, yeah. It isn't yeah, it's a little primitive as a pinball game, but to make your own No, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. No, go to the left, go to the Oh god, I hate you. Okay. What? What's to, what's to the left? The left is a launcher that takes you up to level two. Oops. Like it opens up once, which is weird because that's where you start. But uh, once you've done that uh, part, you can launch up to level two immediately. Wait, they're trying to get a high score. This is pinball. <laughs> that freaked me out as a kid, by the way. It's also so it's, it's not even the actual design of the dragon thing. It's like the uh, so it's just the music that plays music the sound. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's also the fact that uh, when it grabs you, it's actually not instant death. Like, they go pretty lenient here. Yeah, yeah, you can put mush to get out of it. I always yeah. remember that image of him, like, fighting not to be eaten. Yeah. The way they handle going down the drain is weird. <laughs> sort of not an issue? It's like they made it a cutscene to prevent you from, like, coming out of it somehow. Hmm. I forgot how repetitive this part is, but this person isn't playing it as efficiently as they could. <laughs> now go to the right. No. As unconventional as this game is, I do like they've, they've got the uh, the pinball LCD at the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not Dot Matrix, it looks more like scan lines. Oh, also, uh, now that little like barrel thing is like moving left and right, so you can miss it and just fall into the toxic waste and die. May I speak about how terrifying the bosses are in this game? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and this music too to go with it. Yeah. Very thematically different from Arg. <laughs> Arg. Arg H. I think I caught to this boss and I'm just like, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I mean, why do they all- why are they so scary? Happy. Why do they make the bosses so goddamn scary? They've all got his face on. There's a one where they're like, well, we'll get to it. <laughs> the machine of death. Oh yeah! We'll it's, uh, Saddam, I guess. <laughs> Saturn was pretty dark. I mean, that version of Robotnik was. I just realized there's two Splatterhouse connections in this game. I can't get past how badly this person's playing this boss. Like, holy crap. <laughs> well. There you go. There we go. The, uh, I just realized Howard Drossen did the uh, 
the soundtrack to the, the Splatter House remake, Jim Cummings voiced the Terror Mask and he voiced this v version of Robotnik, very specifically, the sad arm Robotnik. Yeah, he very specifically went, Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's really mean in this game. <laughs> We paid him, we got the guy who did Winnie the Pooh to go, <laughs> <laughs> He did all the sound effects. I thought it was only one hit away, of course. I, these death sequences where it's just like... <laughs> it just cripples the hardware. <laughs> enough, enough. I wonder how long that was supposed to take if you got rid of the slowdown. <laughs> on the virtual console and find out. <laughs> so, uh, here's your bonus for pinball. More it's, pinball. <laughs> it's an actual also pinball. trapped team. alive. Also, here's your, uh, Satam cameos if you yeah. look out for them. <laughs> and also, I, I, like, the, the mirror image of Sonic that actually, like, Follows, follows the ball with his eyes, and you can see his hands moving when you hit the flippers. I don't even... I, it took me a while to even realize what's going on there. Like, I didn't realize... Yeah. Where, I just thought it looked really weird. I thought it was like a statue of Sonic in the distance? Yeah, it's... I get it now. Yeah, I'm not sure transparency is pretty important. quite like that, but yeah. <laughs> Why is Sonic doing this? Oh, oh my, that's like Sally, but it's like a first design where she's pink. <laughs> I'm not an expert on that cartoon or, or the Archie comics, but I do know she was like originally pink in something. <laughs> and it's like their only game appearance, if I'm not mistaken, which is more than the British characters ever got. <laughs> Funnily enough, the, 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 the British comic I've mentioned a few times, the only thing they ever appeared in outside of their source material, that they used original characters, was funnily enough, the American Archie comic, which referenced them like a few times. So I guess they were like, the only people who were aware of that comic were the creators of the other comic. Oh, can I um briefly mention the fact that this game at some point had um a couple of tracks from the original Sonic game, like remixes of... Oh, um, yes, yes. Yeah, like the victory music and, um, like the title screen music. Title screen. Yeah, and then, like, they very quickly had to remake, or, like, put out a new version <laughs> of the game with uh, original music there because they realized they didn't have the rights to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of assumed, oh, yes, I like Sega has the rights to those. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true to this day. They've got to credit the dude every time they use any of that shit. Jesus. Cool loop. You think, uh, yeah, Sega, this is your mascot, you own his theme, right? No. Like, wh wh what do you mean you don't own his theme? <laughs> it's, your, it's, like, it's like Disney had to pay someone every time they tried to depict Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I like the soundtrack, as weird as it is. Sometimes a weird soundtrack is just inherently more interesting. I'd rather have like some. I, I, I can be down with like weird soundtracks. Like I like the uh, Streets of Rage 3 soundtrack. It is utterly bizarre. It does not fit in with the rest of the series. But damn it, I gotta I gotta appreciate how weird it is. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, the uh the uh the trap hole where you just like yeah I'm gonna kick you back out. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention um while well, we're talking about this development. In particular, have you seen the prototype for the actual Satam game they wanted to make? No. It was there's a video of it online, um, just like a uh, proof of concept, not natural like playable bomb or anything. You know, it's not a natural hardware. It is a slow-paced stealth game with like Sonic wearing the backpack and he has to like sneak around past robots. Yes, it's one of those things slowly. like. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, that's interesting. I can totally see why uh, Sega Japan just went, no. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? No, we're going to make Sonic Labyrinth instead. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> if you get the chance, check out that video. It is interesting. 
It was, um, I think it was on like, the same demo wheel that also had that very first version of Comics Zone, starring Joe Pencil. <laughs> I'm Joe. Why is there junk graphics on the right side of the screen occasionally? It's a feature of the actual console and uh, some emulators. Oh no! No, that's what you're referring to. Okay, no, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> Sorry, I had like a smart ass answer, but then I was like, no, that's not it. <laughs> Bust yeah, door, the door first. Head. What is that bad nick? Anyway, it's like a flying knight? <laughs> I thought he had like a blunderbuss, I don't know. <laughs> so that thing is definitely a face, right? Like, that's not just me as a kid. Okay, why are we going in loops? Oh. No? No, no, that's a multiplier. Yeah, that, 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 yeah I see that as a face, by the way. <laughs> Who are these dogs? Why are they so willing to help? <laughs> I think we're going in up uh, in the circle because we're hitting the steam thing too early. I was um, just thinking ball, about. Sure. <laughs> I was just thinking that I'm gonna like the multiplier. Do, has anyone ever played this for actual score? score? But then I realized. This would be, if in the hands of like a decent player, this would be way too easy yeah. of a game with the ball control you have. I'm not saying it's an easy game in general to do, but in the right hands, you no, could just do this you know, when you, I'm sure someone could like just max out the score every time. It seems like one of those kind of pinball games. It's one of those things like the score really doesn't need to be there, except for the fact that it's a pinball table, so it has to be there. I did something. It's, it's certainly a game you can try and get a high score at if you do that sort of thing. This bit's weird. I think score is one of those things where, like, like, people code it because it's very easy to give a score, but, like, and, like, I guess they were just like, well, if there's some weird people out there who actually, like, want high scores, then, you know, why not, you know? It's just something yeah. from the arcade era at that the end of the day, never it, it, went it's away been... for much longer than it's... Like, I mean, this was still the era where you would see that all the time, score and, like, anything, not just pinball. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I said in one of the Street Fighter car um, commentaries that uh, Street Fighter doesn't do scores anymore. I'm an idiot, of course. <laughs> Cave mode. That's what literally, like, that's the... You get a high score at the end of it. Yeah. And it keeps track of it. Whoops. Watched it again. I was just like, uh, "Oh, wait, I said that." <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I think my favorite thing was the you went on and about like the comic talked about the gray chaos emerald being like the new one, and then I was watching the video again for when I was editing, and it's like, "Oh, there's <laughs> a gray one in the first game." Whoops. <laughs> no, that was an emulator glitch. Oh, okay. Fucked up the pilots in that shitty game. Oh, it's Farron. Welcome to the, the Emerald Shaft. This part's annoying, because you can get blown into that little hole and lose all your progress. And you get shafted. Yeah, you get shafted. You get blown into the hole. Dick joke. Clocks are coming! <laughs> Watch out for the... Is... I think I knew how to do this as a kid, but how obvious is it what you're supposed to do here? Well, there's the, the, the like, light. Yeah, it's just that you got to hit them at such a weird angle. Or rather, not hit them at an angle and then end up above me. Okay. I feel like it was, a uh... Like, if they're gonna go through with, like, Sonic Pinball, which, you know, I guess makes sense. They're not gonna just make it just a actual pinball table. They're like, let's make it like a game you can complete. But they've done that as well, though, in Sonic Pinball Party. I think you can quote beat that, but it's more, it's way more of a conventional pinball table. I suppose I would be more willing to call this like a part of the main series than I would Pinball Party. <laughs> Especially considering, like I said before, there's so... If you actually break it down, there's not actually a lot of Sonic games. 
on the Mega Drive slash Genesis. So, you know, if you're gonna like look at them all, you, this is more significant. I'm not really sure how you define not many games. To be honest well, with it's you. like Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, and Sonic 3D. And then the main beam machine is just like, kind of like whatever. So, was that like seven? <laughs> I think he's comparing it to Mario, which was fucking everywhere. That's true, yeah. but... I mean, compared to any Roll other series... Down. Also, what the fuck? Yeah, this yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't want to get that middle one out, because then you have a big hole that you'll fall through. That's annoying. Considering how... how hard they push Sonic... at the time... Well, there were more Sonic games on like on the Master System, I think. Certainly more like platformers. Well, that's mostly just because it's like here. Let's Cheaper port to the produce. Game Gear. No, no, because it's the same as the Game Gear. So, whenever they made a Game Gear game, they also kind of accidentally made a Master System game. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Shit! Hey, really fucked that. up. <laughs> One of those games that's just designed to give kids nightmares. <laughs> it's, I don't know, maybe it was just me, it's just something about faces, like a giant Robotnik game. <laughs> oh no, this is definitely but... freaky. <laughs> you know what I think did it as well? Like, it's, it's also like the American artwork for Robotnik depicted him without eyes. <laughs> Whereas in the Japanese art, he was like a goofy guy with like sunglasses, like T shade sunglasses. But then you look at the Sonic 2 box art in the West, and he had like gaping voids where his eyes should be, like here. Like, oh, it's supposed yeah. to be glasses, well, but no, it looks more like just holes. Yeah. But, but like, American Robotnik just look, well, I guess Robotnik, not Eggman, just look way more sinister. Whereas Eggman was just kind of a goof. Like, I'm just a goofy scientist man in pajamas. I am shaped after a goddamn egg. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, and then that's reflected in like, Satan the cartoon where like, Jim Cummings was scary as all hell. Sonic Jammin'. That's where Sonic Jam came from, right here. Yeah. Yeah, Sonic Jammin'. <laughs> The flagship saying something like Slamming shot. Pump it up. Do you find it weird there's no drains on these? They don't even any harder. They're kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah, no. I want them there. It's funny because they are bonuses, but you don't necessarily get anything from them. You points? get points. Yeah. It's... This would be a good place to put, like, the. the... Emeralds yeah. in, the, in the traditional sense, if you want the secret final level. Super, how would Super Sonic work in this game? <laughs> he moves faster. Uh, <laughs> Wait. This would, also, this would also be a bad place to put the speed shoes. <laughs> no, I mean, what are you oh. talking about? If the ball moves faster, you can get places faster. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Best fight. <laughs> Oh, if I got knocked into this somehow, whatever. So, um... Oh, this is a uh, falling sprite. This, I want to bring up the... This, tra this track has a... Like, the music in this game has a bug. Which is uh, something that is prominent in... Uh, the other Howard Drossen game that I'm familiar with, Comic Zone. Uh, yeah, I know, it's a cool track you made in that game. Uh, Tasmania. And, uh, Shaq Fu. Which is just like, if you play the game on certain versions of the console and or emulators, uh, it has this really oh. loud beeping noise. Yep. The console itself? Ooh. Yeah, there's actual there's console versions. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like, or less, I didn't know, but I assume because there, there yeah. is for quite a few things. It's, it's weird, like, I don't, I don't remember exactly what caused it, but it was just like, the sound chip was just didn't support whatever sound they were using, and it just makes this horrible beeping noise. I want to point something out too, that, um... 
seems kind of funny in retrospect. Up until I think me playing this level in this game, I didn't realize in pinball you can catch the ball with the flipper, which seems hilarious now I've played so oh. much <laughs> but I did not know. Certainly not as a kid, I just didn't really... I thought the flippers are for flipping the ball, right? Not catching it. Oh, we're playing the boss music even though we can't fight it yet. <laughs> Never give up. Oh, yeah, here's just a really annoying thing. There's an emerald in one of these cells, so, uh, hit all of them. Have fun, kid. I know it's in the middle one because it, like, falls in a little shaft there. Because otherwise, you'd have nowhere to actually grab it. Getting to it, I'm going to to pick the animal prison. <laughs> Why is this called the machine? Why is it not called the prison? That's what it is. Uh, might be a little too dark. Considering what's coming up, I don't really think they gave a shit about that. So what this player doesn't seem to know is if you hold down after you go into those little, like, uh, piston launcher things, you can, uh, like, stop your momentum pretty easily and get into that, that little shaft to get the emerald. I remember how to play this game, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I don't think I was ever really good at it. I don't think I've beaten it many times. I just noticed what the microchip has Sega on it. No. <laughs> well, I'm we got in the power no Good job. <laughs> I don't know if the person knows how to do the flipper catch, but they're just not bothering. Find the hidden emerald. Oh, you found it. <laughs> it puts you. It just dumps you in front of it. Well, I mean, it. he had to knock it out of the cell first. But, uh, ah. We did that and then didn't know how to get to it. Apparently. So. Okay. He's hidden. Very Somebody hidden. being hidden. That's more of like inaccessible. <laughs> I like how the pin bumpers swear at you when you hit them. <laughs> oh oh <God>. yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> shit. Damn it. No, that's the Sonic you swear. <laughs> ah. Fuck, oh god, oh, fucking shit! <laughs> Negan in, in Sonic Pinball? <laughs> god damn! <laughs> what if Negan was the pinball? <laughs> Someone make that bomb up now. <laughs> For like, you PCM samples of him from Tekken. So did those power chambers do something? If you use them enough times, they like, the little spinny thing, uh, like, it, you could go into it, basically. <laughs> it opens the spinny thing, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that's how you do that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how you're supposed to get that emerald, I guess. <laughs> This is one of those videos where they alternate between, like, utter incompetence and then doing, like, insane shit. <laughs> yeah! So, yeah, that little... Yeah, okay, here we go. Here, right? No! If you hold no, no. on the flipper, the thing starts going up the conveyor, so you can get an It easier... literally tells you that. Okay. Whatever. You have to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Oh, my God. You animal see animal prison. prison right there. Oh yeah. I guess it's the machine because it's like you know, it converts them into robots. We haven't seen that yet. Oh, uh, I guess it's the the builder like hinting at it. <laughs> Bad move, bro. Bro, Inski. I wonder if you can tell this is made in the nineties. Is it? Do the fucking catch! Oh, you busted Buster. <laughs> just do it, it just makes it easier. <laughs> Bad move, bro. Look, I know you can get up there without doing the catch, but it just makes it easier. Stop wasting time, dummy. I don't think this player knows that they can do it. I mean, who am I to speak? I don't know about the minecart being upside down. Oh, all those gears you get caught in if you die. Oh yeah! It's pretty horrific. Oh. 
Okay. And there's an actual legit out lane too. Mm. Just do it. Just... <sighs> We're up. Good. Yep. Yeah, that's weird. Oh yeah, the spin dash is in the game. Yeah. Then. That the uh, the platforming segments are here. What are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, this. Yeah, it's showing the. This is horrifying. <laughs> I mean, fair. The animals are fine. You just have to, you know, rescue them. Well, you can get rescued. And they, look, that does not look painless. <laughs> Why, Why do they start to look like crocodiles when they get in there? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I would love to see like the room when like Sega Japan first saw this. Like, what the fuck? Actually, yeah, there was like a bird, and now it looks like a cat. <laughs> yeah, like it, it suddenly has like arms instead of wings. <laughs> yeah. I guess this was already implied by you know the animals being inside the machines, but I didn't really need to see. <laughs> I mean, the skeletons, uh... Yeah, them being electrocuted is a bit much. Oh, you didn't get safe. Fuck you. It's just very strange. Welcome to the wonderful fucking, uh, cul-de-sac that is Saddam. Welcome to, um, this is American Sunday. <laughs> That's how uh, the summit was made. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Overheating. Um. Yeah. That's what you're happening. not breaking not it. You're overheating it. Yeah, he's blocking the vent. <laughs> Speaking of overheating. <laughs> <laughs> And immediate. Tell a time bonus for what seemed to be a, be not pretty long. Oh, it's Scratch. Yeah, and here's Scratch. Scratch and Scratch and his brother Scratch. And his cousin Scratch. And... There's a pretty traditional uh, capsule there. Looks like the one from Sonic 2. Oh, yeah. So, I guess we've got the others. Uh, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog in here as well. It's well, like a, we nailed them. It's like a big clash of Sonic uh, appearances, you know? Sonic yeah. Fanon. Yeah. Well, it was, you know, the American Sonic game, and why nothing's there, me? Why the hell not? Yeah. I think, oh, uh, a Scratch score and, move! Wow! I think Scratch, Ground, and Coconuts were in. Um, we're in um, Mean Bean Machine as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that robotic design. But that really just amounted to just like, and then we spray some pyro pyro. Pyro pyro? Pyro pyro pyro. You know, the awesomeness game. <laughs> the puzzle game with fire. Hog <laughs> <laughs> power! Oh yeah, you can tilt this machine by shaking it too much. Yeah, if you smack the cartridge, you get the levels for that. <laughs> this game actually has a level select I didn't know about as a kid. Does it? I, I didn't think know so. So, uh, where are we shooting now? I think we just have to hit the machine. Oh, on the back. I think we just hit in the front, I just don't think he was doing it. It's kind of funny how long it took me to, to realize what the hell that reflection was. It's like Sonic Alright, where's one? Oh yeah, and here's... Robotnik's Volcano? Sure. Robo Volcano. Showdown time. He's getting away. Not actually a time limit, is there? No. Damn, you, you lied to me. <laughs> it feels like there's a lot of urgency here, but there's really not. 
No. Left rock will shoot. Please stay away. <laughs> is that just bull save? Is that what that means? Yeah, if I'm in the right left, uh, I forget what they're called already. Outlink. Yeah, yeah. No, this is getting a bit too like nerdy. Is this up at the top there? Is that the first bit of power luck score we've had so far? Probably. It's like know. the first background we've had. Yeah, that's what I mean. Some mistake, and this they did it a bit more subtly than that. But... I guess it, like it's implying that that mountain thing is where all this is taking place, and we're like inside of it, and now we're at the top, yeah. we're going into the sky. So yeah, this will be the first outdoor yeah, area. Yeah, definitely. I guess it does that kind of thing I mentioned a lot, doing progression of levels in the same place. Yeah. There's a lot of the Sonic games uh, like set in a single location, so to speak. You know, Floating Island, Flicky's Island, yeah. this volcano. Oh yeah, the weird palette change. Yeah. It's like you're going into space? I don't know. I think that's... yeah, once you get like high enough, that's... It looks like that's what they're trying to do. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to stand on this? Oh, fuck. What? It's because I wasn't good at this game, so this is actually... I'm very unfamiliar with this level. I, uh, I rush it, timer! Oh, it's like a hurry up. Yeah, yeah. You have a time limit to hit those things to get a big old bonus. I was always afraid like something was gonna happen. It's like I have to get out of this area before it explodes. <laughs> and here's some wind talks. Uh, yeah, of course. This is why they have all that text though, because I don't think you'd know what to do half the time as a kid. Yeah. It's kind of like real pinball, I guess, with the objectives. Hey, you got a Robotnik bonus. <laughs> this uh, was loose in 93. This was like your one 16 bit Sonic game. Between Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. Once huh. you count. Oh! I, I'm pretty sure this was like. Whoa. I hope I'm right here. I think this was released the same day as Sonic CD. What? Or at least this same week, maybe? Very quickly, I don't know. So you could do this or you could do pinball. <laughs> Sonic CD was not an option. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I mean, did you have a Sonic CD? I mean, a, a Sega CD? <laughs> a uh, Sonic CD playing it. machine? <laughs> so, I mean, let's be honest. Was that or Snatcher? <laughs> I mean, who could imagine such gem? Forget such gems as uh, fifty percent of uh, Red Supreme's lineup. <laughs> Night Trap was Sonic or Sega CD, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I saw that was on sale in the Switch store for like three dollars, <laughs> and I can't figure out why. <laughs> what the? We f had it. Here's a piece of history. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> On the Switch? Hey, it's where we put the retro things. Uh, yeah, I can confirm um, this game was released on the same day as Sonic CD. Weird. Alright. Why was he getting hit by rocks in midair? This, this <laughs> particular area is kind of... Confused. That hanging sprite for like one frame, he was like looking backwards, like, hey, I'm fine. <laughs> Balloon Mania! Oh man, they totally forced, like, new Sonic Mania was coming. <laughs> Reference to that. 
Yeah, it's right next to Q. <laughs> that palette change doesn't really work. Oh god, especially there where it looks like shit. Yeah. Party time. I just like to imagine all those things made the sound SCORE when they died. <laughs> Already <laughs> lit, man. <laughs> you know what I mean, man. <laughs> That's what the uh, bonus you gave you, like 420, man. <laughs> or something, I don't know. I didn't know that was a thing. This, like, wing here. It's a little pointless. That's a hell of a skating animation. Apparently, you could get in that way, though, because it gave you the not enough emeralds prompt. Air surfing, dude! <laughs> <laughs> what you <laughs> hey, What the fuck? Are the what are those rocks? Rocket! It's, uh. The tubular. Oh, that's where the balloon mania comes in, I guess. <laughs> <That'll work. laughs> I was hoping you would. <laughs> it's definitely the level I remember least. Although that might just be the virtue of it being kind of hard yeah. to get to. Yeah. What are we doing? I'm not really sure what the last emerald is, so... Took me a while to realize that that rock was coming, so I just kept on thinking he just bounced off Mario 64 style of the lava. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the, the emerald, I guess. Oh, we need the, the I guess, oh, the right. windsock over here. If you add them up, how many emeralds are in this game? Or does he keep, like, dropping them between levels because he's an idiot? <laughs> Right here, I guess. Or... No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is that party time? <laughs> it you is party things. time, excellent! You don't do that at parties, you just fall in a pile of sticks? Oh, oh man. I did back in the day. <laughs> it is the 90s, and it is time to play Sonic Springboard. <laughs> All I know that saying from is from Clax, and I'm getting the impression that's not actually what it's from. No, it's just from Clax. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, that works that way, All right. Unless Clax is referencing something else, but that's what I know it from. As far as I know, it's not referencing anything else. Demolition! That wasn't a party time, though. He was too rough there. <laughs> What did that say? 50,000? No, is it like, I thought it said block it? Rocket. Rocket? Oh. <laughs> makes a lot more sense than my interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, multiplier. I'm glad this player is not bad at like, at like dying, because they're not good at getting places. Y yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, that actually looks kind of weird when he does that. <laughs> this seems wholly unnecessary. So here's Robotnik, he's like enormous. Uh, click. Oh yeah, he's a giant! We'll see him eventually, I guess. We have to navigate this horrible, uh... Fuck. <laughs> do we have to hit that switch first? No, we do, apparently he's oh got windsocks! <laughs> it's windsock defense! Urgh, click. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay, I kind of bother. There's no like score of any kind for doing a loop like that. <laughs> I guess you ultimately fucking up. Like, yeah. <laughs> the uh, stop doing that bonus. Smell my socks. Smell my ears. <laughs> oh, you hit the button again, so now the socks are back. Oh right, I think if you hit those too many times, you just go fuck off and you just fall out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the same cracking sound effect from Comic Zone. Probably. Like when the uh, like the ooze men come out of the containers. Oh yeah. Err, click. <laughs> that that sign means something, I guess. 
Does anyone ever vote for this font for Windows? <laughs> uh, I'm about to do it. Like with the Robotnik symbol. <laughs> Seven it's more to go. go. There we go. This is funny. Oh, wait, that's five that. more. Okay, yeah, it gets. Uh... <laughs> it's the final boss, I guess. I guess. Funny enough, this is like the least terrifying one. Yeah, even though. Because it actually has to be him instead of some weird thing with his face. I'm yeah. sure they could have done something creepy and weird with them though. What the? Oh, that animation what? in this game. One more to go! Just gently uh, brush the top of that to blow it up. Also, Eggman's now dead, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Eggman. Eggman is the also one exploding into pieces. He got cracked. One identical piece. <laughs> That uh, entire machine was like made of one piece, <laughs> just repeated and nauseam like Lego bricks. <laughs> Chimney ramps! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they really took like the, the pinball scoring thing seriously. Yeah. Also, the sound he makes. Oh, this. Just the fact that he what sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, Jim Cummings. I'm gonna be alright. Welcome to hell. <laughs> well, at least Sonic Newton. <laughs> There's your ending. I always found that music hey, very abrupt. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Made Steven. by the end. Oh. Thank you, Peter. You you figured it out. Fucking game. <laughs> what a weird fucking game. I kind of feel like we're gonna end a lot of these Sonic videos with what a weird fucking game. Now we're out of like the classic series. Yeah. Uh, now we're skipping through it. Uh. Yep. <laughs> Don't care about how I draw some fucking. <laughs> that guy's got no future. <laughs>